everyone and welcome back to my channel a day in Rimi's life so today i am going to talk about the uh, shorosh mela and not just what i have done for the day as in the previous video i did mention that i am going to tell you as to how i have explored the shorosh mela and what i have purchased so let's just dive in. So basically, if you are not aware of what Shorosh Mela is, it is a platform that is given to the rural women in order to showcase their skill set and sell their product, basically giving them a market to sell their product. To start with, I saw a shop uh, selling products made out of cane. There were scented candles, again handmade. There were people who came from Haryana and were selling plant pots. And these pots were really beautiful. I loved the Tulshi Moncho that they were selling, but I didn't buy it because I don't need it right now. There were also people who were selling carpets and uh, they were very reasonably priced, I must say. People from Orissa came to sell scented sticks. There was a shop which was selling uh, hand-painted uh, utilities like stoles, cups, trays, um, t-shirts, wall hanging, even for a fact like key hangers, right? We wanted to buy one again, but we skipped buying them. Uh, they were jute hangers, jute, jute wall decors. Uh, this shop came from Rajasthan uh, selling lights, lamps, and uh, again, some wall hanging and door hanging. Uh, we also came across a shop came from Kashmir selling their products, uh, the woolen product. And even for music lovers, you do not have to go empty-handed. They were selling iktaras and flute, again, very reasonably priced. One of the hit store that I have seen it was a store came from Kerala selling cast iron utensils. And then if you are in a fair, you cannot miss out on the terracotta products. So they had like cup, plate, wine glass, etc. We also came across a theme shop who was selling handmade sun-dried lentil dumplings, rice like Dulai Panji, and also bridge. They were huge in size. Now, if you are in a fair and you are inviting female crowd, you can't forget to have shops which are filled with clothes, saris, salwars, kurtis, jewelries, bags, and so and so. There were shops selling jute bags and products of jute as well as we saw shops who were selling products for the god and the goddesses for our temples basically also selling winter clothes for our idols specifically for Ladu Gopal or Krishna I will just show it to you in a second see how cute they are moving on we also saw some shops who were selling wooden utilities again some jewelry box trees acupuncture ash trays cup trays etc moving on to the food segment of the fair they had cake shops they also had north bengal um, shop north bengal food shop basically ha uh, selling bobos typos thuppas and uh, salad etc and sell roti uh, they also had authentic uh, Bengali desert shop and I showed you in the previous video that I bought a few and also tasted a few that will come in the later half of the video. Um, they were also selling tea, um, pakoras uh, like like uh, mirchi pakora or vegetable pakora and chicken pakora and uh, that's it. I mean, yeah, they were also selling some Rajasthani lassi and uh, rubbery and kulfi as well they were a specific um, stall from Rajasthan now this lady was selling gore which I tried a uh, jaggery basically if you don't understand what gore is and they also asked us to try some pickle and you will see my reaction and you would understand as to what kind of a pickle did she asked us to taste as I said we also tasted champati shapta and they were really good and hence we bought it and uh, from the North Bengal food stall, we tried ragi momos. And from the pakora stall, we tried some veg pakora, which my husband didn't like much, as you can see his reaction. That's it. I mean, that is from the fair. And now let me show you what we have bought from the fair. So we bought this jute bag for my husband to carry his lunch to the office. We also bought this uh, bag made out of cane for my mother-in-law a bottle of jaggery as well as tulai panji rice because they're exclusive as you say 
and from the Kerala store we bought this cast iron karhai and a dosa making tawa i hope you like this video and if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more such video until next time take care and goodbye